Shields up, Iron Breakers. We're kind of here coming at you with another video. Welcome back to Monster Hunter Rise. And today, I'm going to be bringing you something a little bit different. So it turns out that Yoko Taru has been playing Monster Hunter Rise. And he came up with an idea for a story based around the characters and world for Monster Hunter Rise. And he posted that on Twitter. Now, some of you guys may be wondering, well, who is Yoko Taru? The few of you that may not be aware. Uh, Yoko Taru is the game director behind the Nier series. He's also the game director behind the Drakengard series. And I know that Nier is kind of like a spin-off from a certain Drakengard game, but personally, I got into Nier through Nier Automata because, you know, when I saw that it was a game that was being developed by Platinum Games, I was like, oh man, I gotta play this because I tend to enjoy Platinum Games' titles, and it turns out that I actually really enjoyed the story of it, and the person most responsible for that is Yoko Taru. I also really enjoy the Nier raids in Final Fantasy XIV. I think they're friggin' phenomenal, and I am going to be playing Nier Replicant. Uh, it's just the thing is, uh, Nier Replicant came out, and I didn't play the original one, I just played uh, Automata, but Near Replicant came out and so much stuff came out for Monster Hunter as well, I wasn't going to be able to do both things, so naturally I focused on the Monster Hunter weapon guides and 2.0 and all of this stuff, but uh, Square Enix has actually already sent me a copy of uh, Near Replicant, so when I get some free time I am going to be playing through that. But when I heard, because this I saw in my feed through Gaijin Hunter, that Yoko Taro wrote like a little small story based around Monster Hunter, I was like, okay, I gotta record this. This is gonna be insane. So I haven't actually read what the story is yet. I just know that he wrote a little story and Gaijin Hunter translated it and posted it up on Twitter. So I'm gonna be reading it for the first time right now. So it says right here, Yoko Taro's crazy Monster Hunter Rise story idea. Fan translation from his official tweet. So there's actually like uh, his Twitter post where he posted this stuff in, but I don't know how to read Japanese, so we're not gonna be going there. And basically it looks like he said, as I play Monster Hunter Rise, here's the story I thought up. After the tutorial, there is a rampage and the buff old man, that's Fugen, acts as a shield to save everyone but dies. <laughs> that would never happen in the Monster Hunter game. For some reason, I, I don't think anyone ever dies in Monster Hunter games. Everybody's just fine. Uh, in fact, actually, no, uh, there are deaths, like in the lore of the game or whatnot, but in most modern Monster Hunter games, they're, they're really, nobody really dies. But there are like deaths in the lore and like whatnot. I'm sure that someone will uh, talk about that. But yeah, he uh, he acts as a shield to save everyone, but dies. In fact, he dies due to a mistake made by the player. So we're gonna be guilty of getting Fugen killed. I like this story. Or I'm not joking. I like this story already. This sounds like a good idea. Either the Dango girl or the Buddy Plaza kid dies. Jesus Christ! What the hell? <laughs> Already? You're gonna kill your Mogi like that? You're gonna do her dirty like that? I mean, here's the thing. Yori, I... Sometimes I want to kill him myself whenever he doesn't scout the Palicos that I want. But still, I wouldn't want him to die, but okay. Either the Dango girl or the Buddy Plaza kid dies. I'm, I'm gonna vote for Yori, okay? Sorry, Yori, you gotta go. Your Mogi is way too cool. The one who doesn't falls into darkness and sets fire to Kimura Village. The chorus from the Buddy Plaza BGM no longer plays. <laughs> what the hell, dude? <laughs> Falls into darkness and sets fire to Kimura Village? And it wouldn't be too hard either, because you have like the big uh, bonfire thing in the back where they do the, where they melt the Tatara steel, I think is what it's called. And you have like the big fire going through the, the chimneys and whatnot, the dragon shaped chimneys. So that would probably not be too hard. The last boss arrives, but nothing you can do will harm it. But you can sacrifice one of the twins and make a weapon out of her that will damage it. <laughs> make a weapon out of what? Her spine? <laughs> like, what are we talking about here? This is insane. Um... That will damage it. You, the player, has to choose which of the girls. After creating the weapon, there is no longer singing in the village BG. <laughs> Jesus Christ. As main characters die out, they are replaced by the store generic NPCs. There are no store generic NPCs. I mean, you have Hamon. You ha oh, no, wait. The generic NPCs would be like the Hamon's apprentice and whatnot, I guess. Um, and they start to come to the conclusion that the player is a danger to the village. They start restricting items and weapons, making the game more difficult. <laughs> so I'm assuming that Haman would also die, uh, so we would lose the blacksmith. And then the 
the NPCs would resent us because we were the ones who got Fugen killed, which could potentially be seen as like a catalyst event to all of this stuff going down. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. <clears throat> During a super hard quest, the target monster is able to talk. They tell you the true meaning behind the monsters in Kimura Village, and we learn the reason why our hunter has a voice in this game. After clearing all the village quests, the village is left asunder. You can only play online multiplayer. The players who have lost everything can only go on killing monsters in this cold and barren world. Title of the game is shown. I assume that means uh, roll credits or something like that. I'm not exactly sure what that means. Title of the game is shown, but Jesus Christ, dude. It's like Kimura is this incredibly happy place and Yoko Taro is just like, what if we killed everyone and made you feel really bad? Like it's your fault that everybody's dead. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Yoko Taro. <laughs> Never change. Anyways, I just thought this would be funny for those of you that don't have Twitter, because I know that there's a lot of people that watch these videos that don't have Twitter, so you might have missed out on this, and I thought I'd bring it to you guys. Let me know what you thought about that. I'm just a big fan of Yoko Taro's work, so I figured like I'd share this with you guys. Anyways, uh, that's it for this video. Let me know what you thought about it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay strong, stay safe, and uh, don't get depressed over Yoko Taro's idea for a Monster Hunter story. <laughs>